Hello. The release of the new James Bond film, No Time to Die, has, like so many other things, been postponed. But we know from the trailer that it contains something very unusual. A phonetic joke. As I discussed in my previous video, Bond always introduces himself in a particular way, in two phrases. The first is Bond. The second is James Bond. In the second phrase, Bond, being a repetition, is de-accented, and as each phrase has to have a main accent, it goes on James, and the result is a bit like a compound. Raindrop. Mailbox. Face cloth. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. That is until now. In the trailer for No Time to Die, we get a glimpse of 007 in a situation that's very familiar to normal people like you and me, namely having to stand at a counter where an official demands his name. Name? Bond. James Bond. And for the first time in nearly 60 years, the second Bond is not deaccented. This little moment has been included in the trailer because it's funny, because it violates our phonetic expectations. Whereas Bond usually introduces himself in a confident, even arrogant way, here I'm guessing that 007 is being forced to go through security to get back into the Secret Service from which he resigned at the end of the last film. His surname alone isn't enough for the official. Name? Bond. So with what looks like irritated impatience, he gives his full name as if he were starting over from scratch. James Bond. Now I apologise because analysing a joke tends to ruin it, but for all those non-native users of English who find deaccenting tricky, and there are many, we can use this example to show what it really sounds like. Remember that if you deaccent a final word, the main accent goes before it. So in a compound like mailbox, mail gets the accent as if it were the end of the phrase. Mail, mailbox, mailbox. And in all the other Bond movies where Bond is deaccented, the preceding word James sounds as it would if it were the only word in the phrase. If you were to ask Bond to tell you just his first name, it would sound more or less like this. James, 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 James. I removed the deaccented Bond there, and James still sounds more or less like a complete intonation pattern. But in the new film, where 007 doesn't deaccent his repeated surname, James no longer gets the main accent and no longer sounds like the end of a phrase. James, 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 James Bond. Ah, and there's the main accent. I hope this was useful. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.